audiences all around the, you know, Europe and whatnot, hype rap audiences and stuff, but there's nothing like a live New York real rap audience, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to introduce the crew, everybody that's chilling out. Got my man, Biggest Gord, right there. Gus Mo in the house, on the corner there. My man, Big Rob, Shabazz. My, right behind you, pan right around there. This is my man, Sid. Right next to him is the black one. We call him Black. Next to him is my man, the damager. Yeah. Right next to him is Drake. Behind him is my man, HL. Right, right, right here, right here is Lil Depp. Behind him is You Love. And this is my man, Mike. In the back right there with the yeah, champion oh, sweatshirt yeah, is my man Barry B. That's my man Gary. This is my man Understanding. That's my man Big T. Tommy Hill. This is my man Melica. Yeah. This and that's the little, crew. This is a small portion of what's going on here. Word up. So um, basically, you know, we just want to let people know that real rap music is alive. You know, street style music. We keep it alive. We ain't trying to do, you know, commercialization. You know, this is all about kicking original style lyrics and, and rap skills, you know, serious rap skills, going back to the classical elements, the turntables, and the microphone. We want to do it like this, y'all. I'm about to get it on the street now. We had a couple of people, you know, like if you know in rap, you have people kick lyrics and not just us, but other people, you know, who got lyrical skills. And tonight we had um, my girl Nikki Nicole kicking some stuff. This is my girl Nikki Nicole. Shabazz kicked a little bit. And my man The Damager right here kicked some lyrics also. He's getting ready to come out soon. Look out for both, all three of them actually. And uh, this is my man Brad from Marcellus. They didn't let me kick no lyrics though. I, I don't know why. They didn't let me kick lyrics, and I don't know why. <laughs> I ain't stole nothing, man. I don't like the way that sound, man. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, we just all cool in here, right here, you know, with Video Music Box, Ralph McDaniels in effect, and you know, let's get into some videos. How did you get involved with Bradford, man? How did we get involved with Bradford? Well. Um, Spike Lee saw one of our first videos, which is called Words I Manifest, and from that point, he um, got Branford to contact us in, in order to do a song called Jazz Music for, his song, for the soundtrack of Mo Better Blues. And what happened was, our first album had a song called Jazz Music, which paid a tribute to jazz artists, so what we did was just update it with more actual facts when we did it for the movie, and that's how we came about this man right here. I already knew, he knew about rap already. He, he had Dana Dane records. You're lying. Yes, you did. Yeah, he, had, he had Dana Dane. He had Public Enemy. He had Third Base. You know, he was already up on it. It was all about just expanding no it pictures. to the whole pi visual picture. So here we are. Grab and shut Tell me about Gangsta. Uh, what about them? Yeah. They punks, man. They saw. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, I like these brothers a lot. Um, you know, guru with the deaf lyrics. You know, premier with the hip scratches. You, I no, I just I, I liked them before I met them. Actually, I liked the group because Spike turned me on them when they when they decided they were gonna use like a Dizzy Gillespie thing on the, for Manifest. I mean, they was already all right with me. You know, and uh, their posse is totally chill. I mean, I just I dig the brothers. Everybody's cool. I mean, they live in my my old house. 
they have erected, you know what I mean? It's like, it's cool. The neighbors hate them. But I didn't like my neighbors, so I don't really give a damn.